while Terry and many, you know, sort of input heavy characters can struggle against projectiles, once he gets enough percent going, Buster Wolf goes through all projectiles entirely. I have to see if he takes advantage of that specific fact. Right. Yes, that too. Another rapid jab into the power dunk. Plus, able to even out the resensitive now, but the bomb in hand is going to be Tyrus' ace in the hole. Down tilt going to be up, met with a shield, but. Kairos able to steady himself. Rising tackle to really catch him out, but the back air afterwards is going to be the first stock gone. Kless cruising through this first stop. And able to convert off of the bomb as well. Waits at the ground and spinning attack. Just so much end lag on that if you're nowhere close. And able to get him that ledge with the down smash. That's going to be the stock gone from Kles, and before things get too out of hand, Kairos already has an avenue back into this game. Rolls around, but the bomb, just that fuse going at the exact wrong time, and when he did get that smart roll, is going to be made to pay for it with his own preparation. Parry's the first to the back air too, and he's going to land before the second one comes out. That smash in the wrong direction, that's going to be an easy knuckle, burning knuckles for class. Another jab, jab, power dunk, putting Kairos on the 28%. Down throw, text in place. Parry's the first hit of down air. And he's just going to pogo to the ledge instead of challenging him again. Puts him into triple digits on percent, but that fair not going to do it. And he just drifted outward. I'm not quite sure why that was. Oh, did he? I think he may have crack shot there, but that power dunk narrowly going to survive. Bomb going to make contact with both Kairos and Kles. Rolls in the other direction. Catches him with a boomerang too. And it's beside the platform in that down tilt into spinning attack a bit early, but once again, back into that go threshold. Down tilt into spinning attack. He fell out of it and fell back in. Kairos gonna take game one. A nail biter to end it. Plus did so well to just maintain his lead until the last 15 seconds or so. got hit by the reverse hit of it each time he did get hit, but it was able to get him towards the front at the very end. And by the narrowest of margins, Kairos is going to take that game one. Once again, we are in loser's semis here. Whoever does not emerge victorious among Kles and Kairos is going to be going home in fourth place. And in such a stacked field here today, there's no shame in doing that. You're among the top, you know, not only like 8, 7% of the attendees here when there are such greats as Charlie and Key and Muffin. And so many big names, so many hat regulars. Plus falling about 60% down due to some of this projectile pressure from Kairos. Spinning attack gonna be whiffed, but not able to get the F smash. He's going to pull out the shield in time. It is a bit small, but not going to dwindle enough to the point where it threatens him. Plus is at 108, so Buster Wolf and Power Geyser both available if he chooses. But the down tilt into spinning attack at center stage, a bit much, but again, another one might do it. 
that Nair nearly doing it from center stage as well. Without a jump, but able to make it back with the side special. And that time gets the conversion off of the arrow. Such close distance necessary at such a high percent. Drops the bomb perfectly onto him as well. Backshoot able to trade there, but another conversion this time with an air off the arrow. Another down tilt into spin attack. He's going to live this. Going to land on top of the stage, but that double down tilt into Burning Knuckle is going to be the first dot gone. Goes with the fast fall down air this time. You only do get one hit of that down here if you decide to fast fall it, as opposed to the pogo hits you'd be getting otherwise. Plus sitting at 151, 161 after that boomerang. But there we see the downside that comes with that. Kairos has to be wary of all these power geysers that are now suddenly an option. And does get the up air afterwards, so Pyro able to mitigate the danger. Back into the spinning attack again. Not going for the direct up air. Wanted to go for the back air afterwards, perhaps to extend off of it. Rolls in, able to get the shield before the bomb explodes. Another spinning attack. Up tilt as he gets off the platform. But this time the back air as he goes to the side of the platform. Plus not waving the white flag yet. Close range boomerang. And before that could come out, he got another spinning attack. Short range Naranis once again back into go. But he's not even going to be afforded the opportunity. That spinning attack, another two stock from Kairos. He's a man on a mission right now. We saw Kles counterpick to the cloud after dropping two stocks against Muffin. Is he going to do the same against Kairos? Or will he pull out the Ken? Or between Sheiks from Charlie and Puff from Key, it's been a day of unexpected choices. It might be someone else entirely. Looks like he's still deciding between the two. The mental eeny meeny miny mo is going to plant him on cloud. Small sword versus very large sword. Plus against Kairos, who is already two games up. Another back air will put him on top of the platform, but he's going to survive. You saw him go for a lot of upbees out of shield the first game, and against a character with moderate range, such as Young Link, he's certainly going to go for it again. Jab a jab, and he's going to not get the tech as well. Kairos opting to pull back and pull a bomb, and smartly using it to defuse that blade beam. Limit boosted, that could have done some danger, especially since he probably wouldn't have been able to shield it in time. On the fair, though, protects himself. Short range arrow into the up tilt as he misses the tech on top of the platform. Now back air still has limit, forced to burn it with the up special, but in either case, it's going to be an immediate response from Kairos. Juggling a couple bombs as he waits for Kles to drop down. Perfect shield on that projectile, but that's not going to face Kairos. Just going out of the way of the up special. Very smart instead of just holding shield. Allowed for a more direct punish with the grounded spinning attack. And he actually went with a full hop there to try and get the forward tail, or the forward air. Tech's in place this time. And Kairos yet to be touched on this second stock. Wish the grab too. 
That's gonna clank. The boomerang putting him back into disadvantage finally gets something to the back air. Goes out of the way and perfect timing with the F smash afterwards right as he splatted back onto center stage. One more set, and one more stop, and Kless is gonna be bowing out in fourth place but not wanting to let that happen. Only went for a couple of hits with the cross slash. Spinning attack gonna be waited out and punished with the up special. Kairos not fishing for too much up close. We saw him go for the down tilt once there, but so far, when he's gotten him onto that final stock, it's just been mostly a barrage of projectiles. Try and frustrate him into misspacing something. Is going to two frame him with the down tilt, but falls out of it, and the F smash is going to be Kles's answer. Down tilt parries it, and he's going to get the up special. of arrows. Limit almost all the way charged now. There we go. As he is on 102, has to get a couple more hits. He's just going to use it this time, probably to get the next one charged up faster. But Pyros, not wanting there to even be a next one, is going to get the F smash, putting him onto 127. Bomb drop at ledge. Just going to attack through, using the invincibility to get around the bomb. Spinning attack and a whiff. Close range boomerang into fair. Is that going to do it? It is. Plus flying towards that left-hand corner. And after a hard-fought winner semi-set, just had no answer to the young link here. Is going to be sent home in fourth place. But for Kairos, it's going to be... A shot at revenge against Muffin from Mars. As the two start to switch sides here.